Hello Geminis, how are you doing? Welcome to your love reading for this time frame. So what are the vibes? I'm going to get a message here for my Geminis. Hit the like button if this resonates. If you're interested in a personal reading, Gemini with me. All right. Celebritarot.com. What are the vibes here for my Gemini? What is the message for this month here for my gems here? It says a question, a question, Gemini. What are your top three biggest goals for this month? That's what it says here. Okay. What is your top three biggest goals? Now ask yourself, what is one of the things or what is one thing that I could do today that would help me achieve this goal? What is your goal? Okay. That's something to think about, Gemini. Whatever it is that you want to create this month, do this month, let's start today. Okay. Let's start today. What's happening with my gems? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus sign. What are the messages? Thank you. Door to romance. Of course. Gemini, you always have love in the air. Something about love with Geminis. What is this? Goddess of the moon. Someone here is manifesting. 333 may be a very big number for you or something that's very significant. Ooh, there's so much to unpack here, Gemini. For my singles, I feel like you're at a place where you're open to romance. You're open to connecting. You're open to moving towards love here I do feel like I feel like there's this energy of like a lot of people wanting you to open up this month here and I feel like this coming out is spirit saying to stay focused all right stay focused when it comes to your goals or stay focused when it comes to the things that you desire whether it's in love friendship relationships whatever it may be Oh, Gemini's and Jupiter Gemini a lot of you have a lot of love coming in this month a lot of conversations about love, a lot of deep emotions with love coming in here. And it's all about you making it happen. It's like, I was actually listening to this thing earlier, this video, and it stated, you know, um, oh, I forgot. It actually, no, I'm sorry. It actually talked about, you know, being in a place of looking in the mirror and literally seeing the person that you want to be with. Like, as I look in the mirror and I see my reflection, so do I represent the person that I actually want to be with? Can I become the person that I want to be with or be like or be with? Am I that person? Am I compassionate, loving, honest, consistent, loyal? Am I that person? Yes. Okay. All right. So you're attracting great things this month. Now, Gemini, we're going to take a look at your past person. All right. New, new people coming in and all of that goodness here. So what could my Gemini's expect moving into this amazing month here of love? More so, let's get a little bit about how this past person's thinking about you, this person you've been connecting with. How do they feel about Gemini? Confused. They want to know what you're thinking. They want to know what's on your mind, Gemini, here. This person could be at a distance here. Or there's been some sort of distance. Oh, this person wants to know, is it really over? This is someone here that wants to know if it's over. They're confused. They're not sure. Indecisive. They've been indecisive, but now I feel like the tables have turned in a sense. Could be a Scorpio here, an Aquarius or a Libra or even a fellow Gemini for you. But there's a very strong indication of, please answer my question. Let me know if this is over. Let me know if this is something that we could re-spark, reactivate. You know, it's so interesting because I feel like this is someone here that it's like you stay on their mind. What does this person think about when they think about Gemini? What does this person feel? This person feels like you're keeping your distance from them. Okay, yeah, this person feels like you're keeping your distance from them. This person feels like you're putting yourself first. This person feels like, oh, okay. This person feels like you've come to a point where if you're not getting the best, then you don't want anything less. Yeah, this person's appreciating your value is what I'm getting in this reading, honestly. 
And I know for some of you, you're like, well, I don't see that. Well, this is someone here that's learning to appreciate who you stand, what you stand for and who you are and how you value yourself here. So this person's very confused about your transformation, about how you love yourself, how you were raised. Like there's something about you that really makes this person question their actions a lot here. Okay, this could be someone you have children with, Gemini, or someone that you've thought about having children with in the future or thought about having a new beginning with. But I feel like this is someone here, it's like when they think about you, they think about a new beginning. They want something new with you. They want to have a fresh start here. What was the obstacle? What was the obstacle here? How do we get here? What was the obstacles? Yeah, lack of boundaries. Mm, someone here is putting up some boundaries here. Yeah. Someone here is putting up some boundaries. For a lot of you, there's something here that changed here at some point. Um, there's something here that changed here. And I feel like your approach changed. And I feel like this person possibly was in a place where there were... Keeping this control-like energy, you felt like this person came in and they were like trying to control the scene, trying to control you, trying to control how things move, how things are operated, how things, um, or at what pace things are moving here. And I feel like for some of you here, it's like you started to see who this person was. You started to see the truth within this person. And it could have been this person's fear that came in that really actually started to project that energy. But someone here tried to control it. And I feel like you shed light on it. Maybe you brought it up. Or maybe again, you stopped playing into this person's controlling like actions. And whether that is a silent treatment or manipulation, I'm getting this energy of, for some of you, because this person felt like you cared for them so much, they would possibly use the silent treatment. There was something that this person was doing to try to control this energy here. But I feel like you started to see through it and you started to stop playing into things here. And now this person's wondering what's on your mind. This person's wondering, like, how do you feel about me? But I feel like you see, you see this person, like you could see their truth here. Why is the death card here? Clarify that death energy, please. This transformative vibe. Why is that there? Yeah, you're on this person's mind. Crazy. This person's reflecting. They're reflecting about their dishonesty. They're reflecting about how they're reflecting about how they feel about you here. And I feel like for some reason the change that's being placed into this connection, whatever that change looks like, whether it's you pulling away, setting boundaries, or this person walking away, whatever the shift is, it's also creating this energy where someone here is like going into memory lane from what I'm getting. I'm going into memory lane of what, what we had. Yeah, this person could have rejected you here in the past. So what does this person want now with Gemini? What is this person wanting now? Yeah, there's still hope. Even though we've had some bad times, even though like I lost your trust, even though I was a bit toxic, possibly, I want you back here. This could have been somebody that ghosted you or you felt like this person ghosted this connection. This person's coming in and saying, possibly there's still hope. All right, so this person's wanting a second chance this time around here. And again, you know, now this person's seeing you for who you are and seeing your value here. They're definitely seeing your value. Any advice on this energy here for Gemini? Thank you. Epiphany here. Allow this person to... <laughs> Allow this person to really show you that they're ready for something serious and they're ready to change. Okay, because we have an epiphany here. It says, I didn't realize how empty my life was until you left me. So I feel like this person just needed like a, a kick in the ego a little bit just to realize like, yes, this is not how you treat people here. And I feel like there's also like a lesson about someone here like leaving when things are hard or just like using a silent 
energy or using this like confusing vibe. There's manipulation here at times. And I feel like it's important to bring that up. And I feel like for a lot of you, one of the greatest lessons that you've shed on this person's energy is that I'm walking away. I'm walking away when I feel like there's any sort of games or there's any sort of, you know, manipulation at play. I'm walking away. I don't do mixed signals. There's something about someone giving you mixed signals. And I feel like you're saying like, I can't. We're in 2024. I can't do that. That's too much. And it's not part of my goals this month anyways. All right. So what do we have for my single Gemini's here when it comes to love that are planning to just open up a new door? My beautiful singles here coming up in this month. All right. What is this shocking energy? Oh yeah. You're just focused on work here. You're focused on work. I feel like for some of you, you may be, you may find yourself in a place where it's like, it's going to take you some time to get back out there a little bit. I feel clarify this energy for new love. I feel like you're taking your time here. Yeah. Look at this hair font. Some of you may actually, I feel like a lot of you are in a place where it's like, I really want to, I want to heal first, or there's some sort of financial things I want to get out of the way first. Like I want to build first. So you may be in a place where it's like, you may find yourself working a lot here. And like, while you're doing so, we have the hair font. This is a relationship. So I feel like you may actually find yourself randomly connecting with someone or connecting with someone here that wants a relationship. But I just get for a lot of my Gemini's, your goals are going to be like very important. And this could be like before your birthday comes in. It's like, I have some goals. I have some things I want to clear out some debt, some, um, some, it, it seems like goals. It's like some things that some numbers you want to meet up with or some sort of numbers I want to to align with. There's something here that you're building. Clarify this five of wands here. Why is that here? Like I'm trying to get to the top here. I feel like Gemini's are really focused on finances. Yeah, you're at a place where you're saying, you know what, if love comes in, it comes in right now. I'm just trying to heal. Try not to be too guarded, Gemini. All right, try not to be too 100% invested in work. All right. Have some time for yourself as well here. I feel like for some of you, because of some of the things that you've been through, you could be in a place where you're viewed as very guarded or very just like a wall build up here. Okay. And I feel like you want to, you want to open up and I feel like you will here. There's also this energy of thinking like, will I ever be in a relationship or will I ever have that family, that stability here? Is there anyone coming in for my gems here in this new chapter? And remember, Gemini, you have to be open, right? The more open you are when it comes to that vibration of love, it doesn't have to be like a specific person, but the vibration of love, like I'm welcoming love. I'm open to it. I'm welcoming healthy relationships. Yes. Remember, whatever you feel is what you attract. So if you feel like you'll never attract a relationship, then you won't. And if you feel like relationships are not for you, then the universe heard you. But if you feel like you really want this hair font and you really want this four of wands and you got it, but fear doesn't do anything. Negative thinking doesn't do anything, but put you in the reality of, oh, this is what you think. So this is what you create. Remember, you're the author of your story, of your own story. Okay. And Gemini, you're a very powerful and beautiful soul. You could have whatever you want. You're an air sign. Okay, anything else for love here? Temperance, being very patient with yourself, being very loving with yourself, and the sun, growth, clarity. For some of you that are wanting children, for those that are wanting to be in that childlike energy this summer or this time frame, like let me just move into this like free like energy, right? Let me just imagine we have the magician here. We can make anything happen. The magician has all sorts of tools, wands, swords, pentacles, cups. I could have the money. I could have the love. I could have the truth. I could have the courage, the confidence. I could have all of it if I believe. 
okay so i feel like again your ancestors are definitely in a place where they are rooting for you gemini and again in this energy of temperance here being very patient i do feel like for some of you okay with the three here there is a lot of communication with different um this could be networking or this could be like friends but i feel like a lot of you could meet someone through a friend or meet someone via traveling or meet someone while you're doing something that actually brings you peace whatever that may be but be open to connecting with people that are like you. So if you find yourself connecting with someone that's toxic from the past or whoever, you already know what to do with this energy. Completely, completely cut it out of your uh, energy field, okay? Because again, Spirit is saying here, three, three, six, okay? June, moving into June here. This is your, this is your time. It's your time to shine. It's your time to open up that door of love. Here, love for yourself and love for this person that you're attracting. All right. I will talk to you soon, Gemini. I love you. Okay. I'm sending you love here. Um, of course, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Have a good one.